Hey everybody, today on Political Access, we've got a hypothetical matchup between Dwayne The Rock Johnson for the Democrats up against Arnold Schwarzenegger for the Republicans. This was suggested to me in the comments. It's a very difficult matchup to do because Arnold Schwarzenegger, he's pretty much alienated the Trump base. A lot of people view him as a rhino. He's already in his mid-70s at this point. It's hard to gauge his level of support. Now, as for The Rock, I don't really know where he stands politically. I think he used to be a Republican. Now he's an independent. In this matchup, we're going to say he's a Democrat. And he seems like a nice guy. But when it comes to politics, I don't know where he would stand on most of the issues. I'm going to guess he mounts a serious national campaign. And his views are more or less in line with the establishment Democrats. Probably slightly on the conservative side. Similar to Schwarzenegger, he's going to be slightly on the liberal side for a Republican. So this is a very difficult map to fill out. You're definitely going to disagree with this. You're going to have your own take. So I'm going to quickly go through the states. We'll talk more about it at the end. Let's start in Alaska. And that I have is a leans for Schwarzenegger. Hawaii, safe for the rock. Back up to the west coast. Washington and Oregon, those are going to get down under 10 points. Likely for the rock. California, that would probably be both of their home states. Schwarzenegger, of course, was the governor of California. But at this point, I think it would be over 10 points safe for The Rock. It wouldn't be 20 points. It would probably be about 14 to 15 points. Next state, Nevada. That's going to be Lanes for The Rock. Idaho and Utah, safe for Schwarzenegger. Let's go to Arizona. This I have as a tilt for Schwarzenegger. Back up to Montana. This will get under 10, likely for Schwarzenegger. Wyoming, safe for Arnold. Colorado, that'll be likely for The Rock. New Mexico will be about 4 to 5 points, leans for The Rock. North Dakota, South Dakota, safe for Arnold. Nebraska at large, safe for Arnold. The second district, that will be close, and it will be a tilt for Arnold. Kansas, that will get under 10, likely for Arnold. Oklahoma will be safe for Arnold. Texas, that's going to become competitive in this matchup, and that will be leans for Arnold. Back up to Minnesota, that will also be competitive. Leans for the Rock. Iowa, leans for Arnold. Missouri, likely for Arnold. Arkansas, Louisiana, safe for Arnold Schwarzenegger. Back up to Wisconsin, and that is going to be tilt for the rock illinois that'll be high single digits nine to ten points likely for the rock michigan that's going to be leans for the rock indiana likely for arnold schwarzenegger kentucky tennessee mississippi alabama those are red states and they're going to still stay safe for arnold let's go down to florida that will be competitive low single digits leans for arnold let's go to georgia that i see is being competitive as well probably one to two points leans for the rock south carolina that'll again get down from a safe position and be likely for arnold schwarzenegger north carolina very close one for me i have it as a tilt for the rock let's go to ohio that will also be competitive and i have it as a leans for arnold schwarzenegger west virginia is going to be safe for arnold not 30 points but over 10 points. Let's go to Maine at large. That'll be Leans for the Rock. The first district, likely for the Rock. The second district, Leans for Arnold. New Hampshire, that's another very tough state. It could go either way. I settled on a tilt for Arnold. Next state, Vermont. It's one of the bluest states out there, but they're known for liking their liberal Republicans, such as their governor, Phil Scott. And I would think the Rock may be a little bit too conservative to get this over 10 points, and I have it as a likely for the Rock. New York, safe for the Rock. Massachusetts, Connecticut, Rhode Island, likely for the Rock. New Jersey and Delaware, likely for the Rock. Maryland, that'll still be over 10 points, safe for the Rock. Washington, D.C., safe for the Rock. Let's go to Pennsylvania, that is going to be leans for the Rock. And the last state is Virginia, and that is also going to be leans for the Rock. And there's your final map, and that's a crazy one, but it comes out to 303 for the Rock, 235 for Arnold Schwarzenegger. So the Rock wins it. Many of these states are much closer than we would normally expect. There's a few solid blue states, a few more solid red states, but plenty of these margins now are condensed down to under 10 points. And the reason is, I think both of these candidates are not going to be that far away from each other in terms of their politics. Again, I'm assuming The Rock, he mounts a serious national campaign. His views are going to be mostly mainstream Democratic, a little bit more conservative. Arnold Schwarzenegger, he's going to be one of your more stereotypical coastal Republicans. He would do much better in the Northeast. He would do better in the Northwest, but he's also a little bit older now. I don't think he would fire up many people. He's definitely going to alienate the hardcore Trump base. The Rock, he's probably going to alienate the hardcore progressive base. 
So a lot of this is going to be a battle for the middle. Maybe that's a good thing, but it does make for a difficult map. You could look at this in another sense and say these are two celebrities. It would be a big popularity contest. Everybody knows who these two are, but when you throw politics into the mix, sometimes people don't know what to do. If they liked somebody beforehand, but then they hear where they stand on some political issues, they don't know if they should still support them or not. So I'm assuming the turnout would be reduced in this election because I think a good portion of voters are going to sit out because they don't view these two as legitimately serious seriously political, there's going to be a segment that gets super excited for voting for a celebrity they like for office. But a lot of voters, I think, in the suburbs, independents, the deep blue cities and the deep red counties, a good portion of them are going to sit home because they really don't care for either of these guys at this point, at least in terms of politics. They probably like watching their movies, but that's about it. So you're definitely going to have some different states on your map, and the confidence in my map is definitely low. I wish it wasn't low, but this is just way too hypothetical to take seriously. But I did not see Arnold Schwarzenegger being able to pull out a win here, even though he already was governor of California. You'd think they would boost him across some of these states, but I don't think he's a good fit for the Republican base today. And who knows what The Rock would do? Who knows what issues he would run on? It's anybody's guess, but this is the map that I settled on. Let me know in the comments, what do you think about this matchup? Which states would you change? Let me know down below. On your way out, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next video.